AI, yeah, nowadays everywhere, everywhere. Are they powerful? Definitely, you can ask them for anything you want. But as a computer science student, I didn't really like it. Using it, cool, but building one, I think not. But Aura was actually nice. It may seem complicated at the first glance, but when you understand its key points, it's all beauty. In this video, I wanted to talk about AI and RL and tell you why I feel this way. If you're not familiar with RL, it stands for reinforcement learning and I'll walk you through what it means. My name is Parsa, I'm 24 years old. I'm studying for my master's in the University of Bonn. For my bachelor, I had to go to university, pass different courses to finally get a degree. And I kinda had to learn AI and I just found that it, it's not my type. So my main focus was always software engineering. I mean, backend development, DevOps engineering, databases, brokers, etc., etc. At the end of my bachelor, I was in a bad luck and my final thesis was actually AI too. It wasn't just RL, it was deep RL. I still don't know what that is. But somehow I graduated and it was crazy. Its full name was Task of Loading and Vehicular Edge Computing Serving Handover. Up. And then I decided to study my master's in Germany, hoping to find software engineering stuff. But I really think the whole academia is AI now. Learning the whole AI wasn't optional to me, and it was actually boring. But RL is better than other AI variations. When I was a kid, I was so obsessed with this Real Steel movie, a movie from 2011 played by Hugh Jackman because of its robots, and RL is so related to robots about how they work, how they see. First of all, let's see what those variations are. AI is technically divided into three groups, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. I'm not gonna dive into supervised and unsupervised learning, just give you a little introduction. Here's the thing. Let's say we are building a system that estimates house prices. So the value we want to predict is, is the price of a house. Now to figure out how to make that estimates, our system needs to look at similar cases, like houses with similar size, location, room number, and so on, that it has seen before. Uh, basically, you can think of a problem as question, uh, how much should this house cost? Uh, and the thing we try to estimate, the price, as the answer. In supervised learning, we know the question and we know the answers too, and we just have to find the relations. Of course, I'm not in a place to say supervised learning is boring, but as a personal take of supervised learning, it doesn't really inspire me. Uh, in the other two groups, we don't know the answer, but they have two different approaches, two different mindsets. In unsupervised learning, the second variation, we try to group similar questions, and then we suppose they have a similar answer. Uh, but the last group, and the most awesome group, is RL, where we try to actually find the answer. RL is the most complicated version. I mean, yeah, there are so many great projects in, in supervised learning. I mean, ChatGPT, DeepSeek, and almost all other models which we know are in the category of supervised learning. But I think on the average, I mean, the whole mindset of RL is more complicated. And that's why I like it more. Uh, but still, it has no chance to compare to software engineering. So now I'm gonna share some beginner points about RL if you guys are into it. By the way, in this channel, I talk about my journey and my experience as a software engineer and computer science student living abroad. If you could subscribe, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it if more people interested in these fields you get to see this video. Okay, let's break this down. RL has three main components, a reward, a model or agent, and a policy. Uh, let's have a quick definition. Reward is actually a number which tells us how much good we are. If I want to put this more accurately, it tells us how much we're close to our goal. Agent is an operator which traverses throughout the whole environment and at each step, it tries different actions and see how much reward it gains. Now what is policy? A policy has an action for each state in the environment that the agent should take in order to find the best possible reward. Just in case, best is not always reachable. So it's better to go for best possible answer. As I told you, we are building a system that estimates a value, not find it. Do we know policy at first? No, that's the whole point. Uh, through iterations, uh, through exploring the, the environment for multiple times, step by step, we try to find it. Okay, now we know the components. The real magic happens in that exploring stage. But I wouldn't use that word, because agents aren't always exploring. In reinforcement learning, there is a key trade-off, exploring versus exploiting. 
which is fundamental to understanding an agent's movement. The agent doesn't always explore, sometimes it chooses a different strategy. When I was learning it, I made it very, very easy for myself. Exploring is so wide, so wild, and want to check every places. Uh, but exploiting is more focused, wants to check in a small area, an area which is supposed to have a better reward, and in one word, it is conservative. Uh, let me bring an example of my own life. Uh, when I just started studying computer science, first I worked in so different fields. Front-end, back-end, Android development, data science. And after a while, I realized that I want to be a back-end developer. In back-end, I learned software engineering, SRE, and DevOps, and then I realized I want to be a software engineer. You see, my territory is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, because I think in that space, I would have a better reward. This may give you a good understanding of exploration and exploitation. It's a very important concept, not just in RL, but in life. I think that's enough for this video. So in this video, we talked about AI, why I don't like it. More specifically, we talked about RL. Uh, there is a lot to say about RL. Uh, I was thinking that in my next RL video, I say RL video because I have other videos too. Uh, you will see how I try to think RL-wise and a simple implementation of an RL model. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if this video helped you. Don't forget to subscribe. Your support is very appreciated. Be curious and keep learning.